my project, Roxana the Robot. So Roxana is a physical robot, um, which uh, I made from scratch, which was a, a real mission. Um, lots of trial and error. Have you ever wanted to identify a particular dish? Wanted to make it at home, but had no recipe? Let me introduce Rasoi, an Android application and website that will help you with these problems. Rasoi uses PyTorch to analyze your image and identify up to 308 different categories of food with an astounding 91% accuracy. My name is Andrei Manolaki. I'm working as a junior machine learning researcher at Bitdefender and I'm doing my master's in artificial intelligence at the University of Bucharest. My name is Tudor Ceber. I currently work as a research engineer at MindPyTech and as a contributor to the OpenMind open source organization. My name is Bogdan Cebere. I am a software developer at the Defender and a crypto team member at OpenMind. Hi everyone, my name is Horia Young. Coming up with an idea for our project was quite a journey. We knew from the start that we wanted to build something technically challenging, which would give us the opportunity to experiment with cutting edge technologies we found exciting. However, even most importantly, we wanted to create a proof of concept for a product that could have a meaningful impact in the real world. We thought about the difficult state that the world is in, the increased burden that medical institutions are facing, and the problems that we were facing individually. Thus, Q&A was born to help tackle these issues. One of the main challenges we had to face was dealing with occasional demotivation and lack of focus as we live in an unprecedented circumstances. From another perspective, we had no experience in writing mobile application or deploying the full cloud infrastructure for machine learning, and we had to address that. Our project started as a proof of concept that showcases the potential of AI in healthcare. At first, I personally didn't think that it would be more than a hackathon submission, but now I'm really excited about developing open source tools that could potentially help both medical institutions and patients. The global pandemic showed us how fragile our healthcare system can be and I feel that it's my responsibility to try and help however I can and hopefully make a difference. The global PyTorch Summer Hackathon was an excellent environment to develop our project. It provided a great mix of inspiration, resources, rewards and competition which allowed our team to thrive. The hackathon really pushed us to execute to the best of our ability and deliver a result that we are proud of. We managed to overcome potential demotivation by working as a team and lifting each other's spirits. Challenging your mind with new ideas and topics is an excellent source of motivation and positive energy. We took our time, learn about React Native, VQA, Monai and PyTorch libraries and we highly recommend the experience. Our project can help individuals and institutions in two major ways. On the one hand, patients are able to educate themselves in an engaging and familiar setting which strives to replicate the qualities of doctor-patient interaction. This helps patients make better decisions when it comes to visiting a hospital. It also gives doctors a thorough understanding of the patient's situation before they even meet in person. On the other hand, this all contributes to unburdening hospitals which currently find themselves in a critical situation. I think that differential privacy and explainable AI will be very important into the future as more and more deep learning models will be used in sensitive areas. PyTorch, Opacus and Capsum are great starting points for filling the gap in these areas. I would also love to see more tools that could be used when doing probabilistic programming and Bayesian neural networks. PyTorch can push the limits of AI by addressing one of the main bottlenecks, data availability. There is a privacy revolution right now with several techniques being developed such as federated learning, secure multi-party computation or homomorphic encryption. PyTorch already offers Opacus, a differential privacy uh, tool, and it's exciting to see how other methods will get embedded. 